Yo, what's going on? We are on another journey and we are heading to do Running with the Bulls in Pamplona, Spain. We're currently in France, we're just west of Calais. We're going to get some breakfast when we're in France or Europe. It's always croissants for breakfast. And then we're going to get on the road. We have got a 12-hour drive from here to Pamplona and we want to get there by tomorrow afternoon. So we'll spend a couple of days in Pamplona doing the festival and then we've got all together, it'll be about a 16 hour drive back home to get back to Birmingham. Let's go. So we are coming through France, well, coming through Paris now. We're going to stop off quickly to do an abandoned hospital. This place is huge. It used to be an asylum slash hospital, but there's a lot of stuff still left in it. Like, it's just been left to decay. We're going to go and sneak in. There is security. So fingers crossed we get in and out without getting caught. But we are 40 minutes away from there now. So we'll go and do that and then we'll get back on the road. And, uh, Carry on heading down to Spain. So the next clip will be the uh, sneaking into the abandoned hospital.
Dat is mij. We're getting the drone up once we get out. Yo, that is day one complete. We are about how many? How many kilometers? How many are we in? I'm not sure how many we're in. I know we've got. We've got 700 left to do tomorrow, have not we? 700 kilometers to do tomorrow. A um, couple of places to hit on the way, but then by tomorrow night we would have left France and we'll be in Spain, in uh, Pamplona, ready for Wednesday <laughs> and the ball run. So we're gonna get our head down, get some kip ready to hit tomorrow harder. Let's get them 700 done. Peace. Yo, it's day two of the road to the run, running with the bulls. We're packing up, camp is down, we've had a shower. The, uh, the campsite showers are very questionable. It's nothing like having your own private shower, is there? But these ones are very shared. So like going to a public swimming bath back in the day. <laughs> Rob's there. We're about to pack up and we're going to get on the road. We have got 700 or thereabout kilometres to get done today. So it's 420 miles. Hopefully, it'll take us about seven hours. We're not going to do it all in one. Uh, hopefully, we're going to hit somewhere on the way. But first stop. Let's go get some breakfast and, uh, and then we'll get on the road. Peace. So we've just got to a place called, I'm going to get this wrong, but Orador Seglade or Orador Seglad. And basically, no, I might as well walk it. Well, I don't even know how we're gonna get in. Basically, in World War II, everywhere around here was occupied by Nazi Germany. <clears throat> and one of the Nazi generals got kidnapped and killed or something. And then, I don't know how to get in. I might have to jump the fence. Uh, they got killed, so the other generals come to this village because it had something to do with them. And there were 600 people that lived there, men, women and children. And they slaughtered all of them. Um, they put the men in some of the buildings on the one side. Um, and then they put the women and children in the barns on the other side and they set the barns on fire and killed, I think something like seven people managed to escape or survive. Um, and they slaughtered everyone, so they vowed never to rebuild the village. They built the village down the road and left this exactly how it was, but I don't know how the hell we'll get in. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Shut that.
almost there. One hour 50 till we finally make it <laughs> to Pamplona on a Tuesday night. So it's only took us two days to do 16 and a half, 17 hours, something like that driving. And a few explores along the way. But we're almost there, almost there. We've got an hour and 11 minutes left. We're hitting some mountains. I don't know if that's a divide or going up or more random or whatever, but we've got an hour and 11 minutes left, 86 kilometers, and we're gonna finally have made it to Pamplona. I cannot fucking wait. And then I'm gonna get some rest because we're gonna go run with the balls in the morning. <laughs> Let's go. That's a god as well, because we're in Spain now. Well, it's going to sponge the bike. Exit the roundabout onto N121A. Yo, we made it to Spain. Uh, almost there, yeah, one hour to go. Let's go. Documentación. Eso es. Ah, ya. Oh. Passport. <laughs> vale. A ver, coche. Sam. Me cago. Yeah, I'll put it in the mirror. Huh? All good. Fuck nice. Probably go find or something for somewhere. I've got all our details now though. As always, got pulled because we're English. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the plate, waved on the Spanish bloke. Nah, them English fuckers pull over. Do you know what? It's going mad at the moment with that whole no tourism crap. And I've seen some other explorers, they went through uh, France, Spain, Italy, I think, the other week. It was uh, fighters and demons and that. And apparently they were just getting hammered by old yeah. villain and people. Just, I don't know how true it was. But... Well, we're back on the road. Yeah. Fuck them. <laughs> Yo, what's going on? We made it. We finally got to Pamplona. There it is, in Spain. Even though right at the last hurdle, as you've just seen, the guard had decided to give us a full check over in the van. Um, it's lucky Rob wasn't driving. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we got here. We're gonna chill out now. We're watching the Spanish game, Spain, Spain versus France, and Spain have just scored again to make it 2-1. France was literally winning 1 0 about 15 minutes ago, and now Spain are winning 2-1 after half hour. So we're gonna chill out, get some food, watch the rest of this game and get some sleep because we gotta be up early. We've got to be at the start line for 7 a.m. in Pamplona and it's about a 50 minute walk. So we're gonna figure out how to get in there. We're gonna leave this here for two days. This is where we'll be keeping with all the other campers and uh yeah tomorrow is the ball run and i cannot wait when we've been getting here we've been seeing so many people dressed in the white with the white tops white trousers and then they've got like this scarf around the waist so i might try and get one tomorrow and uh, and then the scarf around the neck but i've got a bandana so i might just wear a bandana it'll be all right <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'm buzzing. I cannot wait. Let me see if you can see the Pamplona. It's a big city, you know. I didn't think it was a massive city, but it's, uh, yeah, look. Let me see if I can show you. There's no zoom on this camera, but we'll try and zoom in on the edit. Um, 
massive cranes as well if we feel like getting bored. But tomorrow is the England game, so we're definitely not going to be bored tomorrow night. Look. Oh, it goes all the way over there. And we got to go over there somewhere. It's just some allotments, and this is where we'll part next to the mountain, or the hill, whatever you want to call it. So, tomorrow's the day. We go and do the Bull Run 2024 in Pamplona. I am buzzing, I can't wait. It's gonna be so much fun and it's gonna be just to experience the difference and what's going on, I'm buzzing for it. So I'll see you all in the morning and we'll get ready and we'll go and do the Bull Run. Peace. Yo, good morning. It is day three of the road trip to running with the bulls and we are about to go into Pamplona it is currently quarter to six in the morning I've already seen a lot of people heading down um, I'm gonna figure out how to get down there we've got to be there by seven at the start line the hell is that um, yeah, we've got to be there at seven at the start line, but there is one major development in everything. Apparently you're not allowed cameras or phones. So we're going to have to, you do get searched by the police at the beginning. We're going to have to hide them. Now the development is Rob is no longer having this camera. We're going to leave this camera in the van and Rob's going to have the GoPro on his chest and where he's got a zip up hoodie. So he's gonna hide the GoPro there. And then when we get in and after the search, he'll undo his hoodie and have the GoPro filming so we can do stuff and I can talk to the camera. And I'm gonna sneak my phone in and try and go live. Cause I promised everyone on my page I'd go live. Cause that's what I do. <laughs> so we're gonna get there. We're gonna figure it out. We've got two days anyway. So we're gonna figure out as much as we can today. Try and get it done today. If not, we can figure a lot of shit out maybe even hide a camera somewhere in the streets and then do it again tomorrow. So that is the plan. So now we're gonna switch from this camera and everything will be phone footage and GoPro footage for the rest of this run. And then we'll be back on this when we get back. So I'll catch you all soon. Peace. So at this point, you're now about to watch footage from a live stream that I've done because it's actually illegal to record the ball run. You're not allowed cameras, phones, or anything. So I had to sneak my phone in, and this is the footage I recorded. So enjoy. Yo, what's going on, everyone? I am live. I am at the ball run, Pamplona. Obviously, I won't be reading comments. <laughs> but I'll show you as much as I can. So the balls get released from down there and we run like fuck up that way. So we've got our, our bandana. Look at this. We've got our Oh, guys, want to know what else is up? Rob's doing it. <laughs> it was. I was like, look, leave the Sony in the camper. <laughs> Regretting it already. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you nervous now? No, I've been nervous since that start, man. <laughs> oh, it's going to be sick. It's going to be mad. Right, I'll film as good as I can, but you've got to remember, I'm running from a life away from some fucking beasts that are trying to kill me. So... Just bear with the, uh, the, the footage. So they release the balls just after eight o'clock. Um, once they release them, it is literally just round that corner, just down there. And then a firework or a gunshot goes off. I think it's a firework now to say they've released the balls and then they run all the way about three quarters of a mile up that way. And uh, and once they make it to the stadium, another firework goes off to say they've made it to the stadium. But I might have to just pocket my phone at some point just to hide it from the old Bill. 
so uh, bear with me. Everyone's stretching like fuck on this corner. I don't feel like I'm fit enough to be standing in here. The coppers have left. Yo, the atmosphere's changed. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm about to do a bungee jump and there's no going back. Now nah, they're all looking down, something's going on down there. Everyone's gone quiet now, it's gonna go silent. Fucking go. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going. Everyone's just bolting, mate. Come over. Well, that made it nervous, wrecking. Like, you're nervous before after just seeing that gives you fucking goosebumps. Now everyone's fucking off. I got a so the old bill coming in and I don't know why. Right. Hola. Hola. Where's safe? <laughs> Was he? Uh English. Oh. Yeah. You done done this before? Oh yeah. Really? Nah, never. First time? Yeah. Hey, first time, let's go. <laughs> Got any tips though to survive? Just be faster than the next guy. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. in the street. <laughs> Rob, come this way. <laughs> come this way. Is that all of them? <laughs> Fucking hell. Mate. <laughs> right, let's get past the old bill. <laughs> Guys, right. <laughs> no, it's fast. But that felt like about half hour, then balls are right in front of us. And everyone, <laughs> everyone pushes you. Well, I'm just going to head up here a sec. Old Bill will come in one sec. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Fuck it out. Yo, there's more. The size of them bees. So the fireworks have gone off to say that the other ones are in. It's 
So normally... What's Rob gone? Oh, he's down there. Normally, there's six, I think they're called Aulas or something, at the front, and then six raging bulls at the back. But I think what happened there is them four uh, calm ones got stuck at the front at the beginning, and that's when the raging one. That's what I was looking for, the calm ones, and I thought, oh. And then this. This is where I thought the start line was, here, right here. This is where I had pinned. Guys, right. Oh, I was trying the hardest concentrate on filming. Oh, fuck, I just scratched me head with that. Fuck me, that nerve wracking. That's probably the most nervous thing, nervous thing I've ever done. Especially being so, you, right, you're looking, you're looking, you see them, you turn to run, and every other fucker is like, no, nah, I'm not ready. And they just push you and you're yeah, going, end up going in the road. Yeah, like pushed into the wall. <laughs> Guys, the mad thing is as well, right? It's a whole festival. Yo, oh, this is where all the medics are with people that got took out, look. Just people, basically. It's nothing bad. Most of the time, it's just people like going over on their ankle, falling over and grazing the knee, stuff like that. Like, it's nothing bad. But the whole festival, it's like a proper family thing. Yeah, look. People like... That's just the tradition part of it, with the balls running. And then there's kids, there's little kids, like, we sitting on the way, and we, we got the bus into town. And there was like little kids with the parents, like three and four, dressed up in all the white with the red bandanas and stuff. Oh, like, it's a, it's sick. But that's not the whole of it. Like the whole festival's the whole thing. That's just the traditional start. But like, what an experience to take part and say I've done running with the bulls. Like, look at that for a building. Yo, what's going on? So that was the bull run and now I am back in the camp park getting some food watching England versus Netherlands We've been chilling out today because we've been that knackered after doing the bull run We went out for a little bit, had a look around the town as you've all seen and now we're chilling out, let me turn that down a sec But that bull run was insane and uh, what did you feel like Rob? Yeah, it was crazy It was uh, mad like the, the the moment before um they come around that corner <laughs> i was like you know when your brain goes i don't want to do this i don't want to do this <laughs> it was good but uh we enjoyed it that much we're going back to do it again in the morning and it and we're gonna we're gonna try and run with them more this time in it yeah. instead of like get the fuck out of the way so it'll be sick but uh we're gonna watch england I've got the game on my phone Rob's got a pot noodle going, I'm going to make some hot dogs. Hopefully England win. And, uh, yeah, let's go. Peace. What's going on, everyone? So, we have lost the GoPro and the DJI camera. We went and done the ball run for the second time to get some more footage and to actually run it because I was running alive on the first one. Great run on it. Rob hit the deck. Fucking, I ended up getting pinned up against the fence by a load of old Bill and we got arrested for filming. So they took our cameras off us and they fined us 600 euro and they says we have to go and pay the fine at the courts or where they are in cash, because they want cash obviously. Um, and they'll give us our cameras back. No, we all know they're never gonna give us our cameras back. Um, but they just want us to, they want us to pay another 600 pound fine. So that ain't happening. So we've now lost two Spanish geezers holding the World Cup. I think they're in the wrong fucking. Plus, <laughs> we're going to the final of the Euros against Spain, which now I hope we beat your fuckers because this trip has cost me a fucking fortune. And just to knock it off, like they've been cunts at the end. So apparently, you're not allowed to film at the ball run, even though we asked an officer yesterday while I was on live and he said yes. Um, today we got gripped up, fucking 
We're gonna try and find footage because it was right on the on the corner where all the TV cameras are. So I'm sure there's footage out there of me getting arrested and rub it in the deck. Um, so if we do, we're gonna implement it now. But yeah, we're gonna go to the ferry now. I'm not going to pay the fine, so hopefully they, I didn't give them our details, didn't give them our uh, passport details and all that. I said it was all in the van. Um, so hopefully we get on the ferry and uh, won't make it. Oh, just gonna do a red light as well. I've had enough of this country. Uh, the ball run was sick. The Spanish, come fuck off. <laughs> So hopefully we get on the ferry, and as soon as we're on the ferry, we'll be on the way home. Uh, 27 hours on the ferry. So yeah, I'm guessing the next clip will be us getting on the ferry, or not getting on the ferry, and then getting detained, missing the ferry, going to get forced to be paid, which they said the fine originally was 750 each, um, then they went down to 300 each, which is 600. I don't know. We'll find out. I'm going to watch it back because I'm excited to find out what the next bit of footage is going to be. So the next bit of footage is either us getting, getting on the ferry or getting detained at the ferry. <laughs> Peace. And that is literally the fact. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Portsmouth. You have to come at 
Half four. Okay, so you come park there in that parking and go to the cafe or up to you, you can exit the pool and come later. Uh, there the is a cafe there, so if you want to park there and have a coffee, you Where can we park? What? In front of you, can you see the trucks park there? Yeah. This is for Cosmo. You can park there if you want and go to the cafe. Okay, where's the other ferry going? Rosler, I can. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Should I just come back out here, this way? Uh, okay, yes, yeah, yeah. Have a nice day. Hello. Hello. Having kids, boarding car to hang from the mirror, stop at the police control. Parking number seven. Nine seven. This is gonna work. But... So we've had our passport checked twice and we've made it through both. So it looks like we're sweet. And paying that six hundred euro fine, bollocks them or seven fifty each or whatever the fuck it was. Fifteen hundred. Oh, imagine that. Fifteen hundred. Well, you're not having your GoPros back. Fucking keeper, mate. Enjoy the footage. Fuck that. <laughs> but then again, oh, headache. Absolute headache. But now we're about to get on that massive ferry behind you, behind the camera. 27 hours we're going to be on this, and then we'll be back on English soil just in time to watch England absolutely batter Spain. Well, they best do anyway, because I'll take extra enjoyment in it after this fucking event. Just a quick one, if when you're watching this it's because it's going to be uploaded after the Euro final, if Spain win, fuck this. <laughs> I take back what I just said about watching England absolutely batter them, but hopefully they do, come on England, but by the time you're watching this we'll already know what the result was. Fuck yeah. 